I'm Rebecca Spira, up next on Mirror Mirror. There are the questions we forget to ask our hairstylists, like... And how much am I going to pay every few weeks to get my hair done? Because sometimes it's really a lot more expensive than people think it's going to be. Our experts sharing his tips, so we're prepared next time we're in the hair chair. We've all been here sitting in the salon chair and having no idea what we're getting ourselves into. Well, no more. Here are the five things you need to know so you have confidence when you're sitting right here. Okay, David, what's first? Rebecca, your posture is terrible right now. You can't sit like that to get your hair done. But why not? I'm comfortable. I know. It's not about comfort. It's all about when you cross your legs, your hips tilt, then the base of your spine falls in, then your shoulder blades go off. Which could cause an uneven style. So I have the posture my parents have yelled at me about for years. Yeah, Rebecca, what a lot of people do is they they don't understand that there's a huge variables of colors you can have done. So what is the time commitment for me? Will I have to come in monthly? Can I get by with six? Can I break my base hypothetically in the middle to extend the time? Me, I'm opting for a low maintenance clear glaze to give my hair shine today. Rebecca, one other thing you need to ask your hairdresser is, what is the financial commitment? How much am I gonna pay every few weeks to get my hair done? What is the integrity of your hair gonna be like after the process? You wanna make sure whatever color you're gonna go for, that your hair is left in the best possible condition and integrity. Because beautiful, healthy hair will always be beautiful. Rebecca, what are you doing? I'm reading my magazine. No, 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 remember, you're gonna sit back. Oh. So you're in the middle of this. Okay. So now that I have my clear color, it's time to talk cut and texture, and I wanted my hair to look like Drew Barrymore's hair. Now, photographs are either a love-hate relationship with the hairdresser, <laughs> because people see different things. Your hair texture is actually very similar. You can see it is a little bit finer, so the texture's the same. Normally, if someone brings in a photograph and the texture's completely different to yours, it's never gonna work out. When it comes to cut, tell your stylist where you part your hair and ask, will this cut work with my hair texture? How about somebody's lifestyle? Should someone ask you about how their lifestyle would work with a haircut? Well, I think it's lifestyle and timing. Like in the morning, you might have nine children, and three cats and a dog and a husband, like <laughs> pulling at you constantly. So what can you do? I don't, I don't have any of that. So what? <laughs> but I do like to sleep. <laughs> what can, or sleeping in. Or what can you do quickly to fix it even? Rebecca, we're down to our products now. So the first thing I'm gonna put in your hair is this, Kevin Murphy Young again. Ask, where should I place this? How much should I use? Will this protect my hair from heat tools? When should I use this? And... Different times of the year, you'll have to change it like you do with your skincare. I remember something that you told me, David, on our very first shoot, and it was you do not need to be using five products on your hair every day. Absolutely, you do not. One or two, max. Last, ask for tips on how to style it. Rebecca, I've been blow drying your hair with a texture comb to give it lots of root lift, and I've left this pretty much natural because you don't want to be pulling and yanking at it because we're going to go and put some curl to it, and that way it sort of breaks the bonds up. David curls my hair, and then... The cooling down process is as equally as important as the heating up process. Nobody's ever told me that. So how does this go? The longer you leave the hair to cool down, it's really going to naturally sit and stay better. Okay, so we're just going to let it chill. Let the hair chill. chill. We brush the hair out with a comb. Oh, look at that. Oh. David, I love how you were able to accomplish this look, but with my hair. And the tips you gave, I know people at home are definitely going to benefit from these. All right, I am ready to go. One last tip. Okay. Okay. Always get your hair out of the way before you put your bag on your shoulder because the straps will make the hair snap. Full of good information. David, thank you so much for the fullest of tips. Go to LiveWellNetwork.com. Bye.